show you my homeschool room so kind of give you a homeschool room tour keep in mind it's the middle of August I've got it mostly organized but it is lacking decorations but I thought I'd give you a tour anyway just kind of show you what we're what we have to work with I do plan to put some posters up on the walls and things like that but this will let you know what we're working with so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and I will show you what we've got okay so this is coming in from my front door my homeschool room is here to the left this is kind of our um, shoe station, coat rack, purses, backpacks, all that kind of stuff. So right here at my front door, if you come in to the left, you see we've got our homeschool room. So I'm just gonna start over here in this corner right here. Obviously the one decoration that I do have is the maps on the wall. I've got a little love seat here for kids to read on or take their work on a clipboard, sit and work on however they wanna do it. Over here is my all about reading and all about spelling uh, whiteboard. I just pull that down on its side and usually we sit right here on the floor and go through our cards and our tiles and work together and that's where we get that done. Right here is my desk. Now this is my favorite piece of the whole room. Um, I actually bought this used from another homeschooler whose husband built it for her. They homeschooled for 10 years and we bought it from them as they were just finishing up homeschooling their kids. It stores all of our stuff so it's out of the way. Um, it's not like an open bookshelf and you see all of our mess when you first walk into our house. This just kind of keeps it concealed and that's what I love about it. I will go through the cupboards with you um, after I finish showing you the rest of the room. So right here we have our old dining room table and we've decided to keep it even though we have individual desks obviously because I find that um, I needed a space where I could work one-on-one -on -one with the kids or I could set the little ones up with an activity while working with the other kids. So mostly I find it's kind of a conference table for me and the um, older kids when they come up with a subject that needs my teaching or guidance on. Sorry, I've got kids who are headed off to bed. <laughs> so you can hear them in the background. Um, I keep a high chair in here for Claire, just in case she gets fussy, she needs a snack or she wants to color on a piece of paper, I can set that out for her and she's got something to do. We keep a big whiteboard right there and that's just about all I've got up on my walls at this point. Um, obviously everyone needs a whiteboard, but I do have some ideas to decorate the room up a little bit. I do have some number and alphabet chart and that's above my kindergartner's table just to kind of help him remember how to write letters and numbers as he's working. So individually what we have going on here is a desk for all four of the kids who are in school this year. And we got these used also um, and they work really well. The kids like having their own space. And inside they keep their notebook. This desk is kind of messy. This is their reading book. Um, but they keep a notebook with the days divided out. They have their own crayon box, their own pencil box, and their own supplies. Um, but I'll go through with you how I organize their desks and their work weekly here when I go through the cupboards. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right in. Basically, in these cupboards, the top two are just learning games, um, Bob books, readers that we haven't gotten to yet. Up there are some flashcards, some extra stuff that we don't really get into a whole lot and extra notebooks if we find that we need them for any reason. When you come down here, um, these two I've got on this side and the other side, I have each child on a shelf. So right here is my second grader shelf and those are the teacher's manuals that I am currently using and then those are what I'm going to be using later on in the year as well as the tests that go along with those. But these are what I get out every day while I'm working with my second grader. My kindergartner, his uh, stuff is right here on the bottom shelf that way he can reach it if there's anything that he needs to get um, but typically I have it all set up or I come out and grab it so these are just his supplies and anything that he will use we will put on this shelf so that's my shelf to the left here underneath here I just have some books some bo um, box of blocks for my uh, little one my 18 month old we've got Lincoln logs and then we've got some puzzles down here as well as another bucket of books 
So over here is the middle of the desk. This is my desk, my area. The kids do have some construction paper and lined paper right there. Just got some notes that the kids gave me at Mother's Day. But other than that, this is just basically my workspace. This is where the kids turn their completed work in. And again, I've gone from youngest to oldest. This is where my kindergartner turns his work in, second, fourth, and fifth grader. And then this is extra paperwork that I have going on that needs to be filed up there for me. Um, this cupboard right here in the center, again, nothing special. This is extra supplies. My still in my desk area and just any extra school supplies I have go up there. We'll come right over here to this cover. And again, it's set up very, very similarly to the last cupboard. Up here at the very top is curriculum I am currently not using or I am planning on selling in the future. Up here is preschool stuff that I can get out occasionally. If my three-year-olds, almost four-year-olds are interested in sitting down, then I have something to grab for them. We get this out every day for our English lessons and sometimes our math lessons. And then right over here are some notebooks for the kids and just some extra baskets I didn't know what to do with, so I stuck them up there. The bottom two shelves also are the kids' shelves. So I actually have both my fourth and fifth grader right here. Uh, my fourth grade, my fifth graders on the left, my fourth graders on the right. Those are their books that I use the most often, um, every day. So I have them pulled out and they're open to the page that we're currently on, just for easy access and then I don't lose track of what I'm doing and it just saves some time. Down here is my crate system, and I can do a more detailed video on this if you guys want it, but what I do basically, and because I have four kids, I had to divide it into two crates, but I have set it up um, 36 weeks worth of their work. So I've got a file folder here, and then in each file folder per week, I've got each child's work. So this is week two. We've already completed week two. I haven't filed it back in yet, but... Um, all of their work for that week is right in here. Anything that's a consumable has gone into this file for each child. So at the beginning of the week, they take the file out, we, we file it into their notebooks, and then they work on it throughout the week. They turn it into their cubby that's over here by my desk. And then at the end of the week, I file it back into week two, and then I just take this out. I take it all the way to the back and bring week three forward. I'll give you an example. See week three, all of Olivia's work, she's got a lot of it, is right in her file. Same thing with Mason. Anything that he has to do that's consumable is already in his folder. This system was from um, Christy Clover over at Raising Clovers. I'll add a link to her um, YouTube channel in the description below. She does a really detailed video on this system. I think it's wonderful. So I'll make sure to leave a link for that in the description box, box below. Again, down here, just um, a dog bed. <laughs> we were missing the shelf right there and we found that our dog was always laying on the bottom shelf. So we just threw her bed in there and gave her a place in our homeschool room. So that is pretty much it as of right now. Again, not very decorated at this point, just set up very practically but we're working on it. So here's an overview again. Kids' desks, our dining room table, and then over here we just kind of have our command center. Shoes, purses, backpacks, calendar, whiteboard, nothing too fancy. Oh, there's a little one sneaking out of bed. <laughs> um, so thanks for coming along. Again, this is just our homeschool room right now. It will be um, jazzed up a little bit here in the next few weeks, and maybe I'll either do an updated tour or you'll see it in the background of some other videos, I'm sure. Um, I guess that's it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.